All right, we are back. So today we're going to be doing three projects, I think. I also forgot to check out of Crypto's YouTube, because, I mean, like he said, he's not going to do anything this week. Uh, and yeah, he's true to his word. Um, he hasn't posted anything for two days, so yeah, that's how it goes. So anyway, uh, Binance Coin Spooky Mire is actually launching in like three days. So I'm probably just going to just wait until other people cover it. I'm not sure if I'm going to go into that. Uh, but we're doing three projects today. And the last video I'll do today is actually Rubik Finance because I've been seeing everyone nagging me about it. So, you know, Murdoch DeFi also has a video on it. So hopefully it's live. But if it's live or not, it doesn't really matter. So... My videos are actually kind of a little late today because it's already 11.50 a.m. And that's because I've spent the past three, four hours uh, researching uh, the contract code and really trying to figure out how these minor projects actually work. So originally I thought it did, the penalty does not exist. Uh, but I'm actually wrong on that partially, I think. See, I'm still thinking of, I'm still trying to research and think on it. So... I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Then also, uh, I also did a video on stupid Paramount Staker yesterday. So all of those scammers and the bots and the committee, they're very toxic people. So they're downloading and like fucking up the video and whatever. I mean, YouTube uh, has actually already deleted a couple of their accounts apparently. So, so that's good. But, uh, yeah, just, just, and then someone else is also do, uh, like also said his video actually said it was just an outright scam. So they're probably giving him the same treatment too. So yeah, it's just all bad all overall. It's like, you know, just fucking hate these scam, scam project with scam communities. And of course it's from a certain e uh, region that's Southwest of China, right? Cause I can't say the specific thing. So it's exactly that type. So it's like, whatever. You know, uh, so I thought about reporting the site to uh, Paramount Studios so I could accelerate the trademark infringement claim that they're going to do. But I mean, I'm also thinking, well, you know, can't attack anyone because, you know, the revenge is God's domain. So I'm just going to have to try to let God do it. All right. And I move on. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, I'm still thinking, I'm still researching it. So, you know, all I can figure out. I guess we could take a look because obviously this is just pancake, right? Pancake swap or cake token. So whatever, there's not much to really talk about. It's just 8% and there's a 7% gap. But I'm trying this out because the contract did contract size did double. But I only put in like half a Binance coin into this. So, you know, it's just an experiment. I'm much more interested in trying to figure out the actual penalty system. Because it's actually much more than you realize. Oh, great. I hate the safe math bullshit because it's just so much harder to read. Multiply. Uh, there is a subtraction here. Okay, so this contract actually is using updated code. That's kind of surprising. Alright. Well... Calculate egg cell, calculate trade. Okay. So I've been I've been spending the past few hours looking at, you know, good old calculate trade, right? Because this is where basically you figure out how much rewards you're getting. So at first I thought it actually would be better if we used what was it called? C Z great, now I gotta grab the link again. C Z Kitchen.io. So I've actually been spending most of my time reading this contract code. And it's also good that their apply now button actually now seems to work, which is just Google Documents, but I guess that's good enough. So hopefully this project will uh, sustain itself. I've added I've added CZ Kitchen and um, Roast Beef to the playlist because Roast Beef actually tripled uh, and a half in total value locked somehow. So I'm like, oh, all right, I'll, I'll bite. And because... And because uh, I had to force sell my congruent yesterday because that stupid vote just passed and I only learned about it from Twitter because I forgot your name already. But you have, uh, what was the old guy old guy from The Office? What was his name again? Creed, that's right. He has a picture of Creed Bratton as his profile. So yeah, thanks, thanks for letting me know. So yeah, 
So overall, my losses in congruence fifty thousand dollars when all is said and done. So it's like it's just it's just because people are panic selling. So it's like, it's just so dumb. It's like I really fucking hate these uh you know the, the these p word people, man. Fuck. But yeah, you know, what are you gonna do? So instead, we'll just read this because this is actually a lot cleaner. So I can I, I we can follow along much more easily. Where's calculate trade? Calculate trade. Where the fuck is this? <sighs> Here we go. Calculate trade. Can you still see this? Yeah, you'll... Um, yeah, this is easy, a little easier to read, I think. No, actually, no, it's not. Okay, so... What this thing is really doing... I should have actually posted a tweet about the graph... Because you need to see this graphically. But basically, there's a numerator and a denominator. So it's a fraction. So what this thing is really saying is this number ultimately is the amount of, say, Binance coin that you've, inve you've ever invested in your project, in, into the minor project. And then it's ultimately divided by the number of uh, rewards that you're farming. So in this case, let's say the amount of pending cake that you have. So eventually what happens is the numerator gets smaller and the denominator, which is RT down here, ultimately, because it's because it's divided twice. Your rewards over time goes down a lot. That's actually why selling a lot is really bad, because what happens is your numerator remains the same, but this denominator RT keeps going up. So when the denominator gets larger than the top number, what does that mean? Your your final result is a much smaller number because I was seeing like because I've been trying to figure out why the hell my rewards are like all over the place and yet sometimes even though I'm constantly selling my rewards don't seem to change that much uh, so this is kind of like where I, where I, this is kind of where I'm at right now right because for example BNB cherries I actually put some money in there my rewards are already down 66 percent but the contract size has only been drained like 10 15 percent that doesn't make sense so there's something obviously wrong here even though they're probably using similar code but maybe there's a little bit of a difference i'm trying to figure out what that is so even if you do nothing and you do exactly quote unquote what you're supposed to do uh over time as more people keep dumping there's because what do you ah, fuck i also have to use bnb god why does why is everything missing on here be my finance. Okay. Oh god, connect wallet. All right. Before on BNB uh, miner finance, they used to talk about the cost of your miners. So this is a, so it used to go down over time. No. All right. We got to we have to jump over a bunch of different projects. All right, so this, so so there's actually a hidden parameter that, that I mean, this CZ's kitchen actually happens to show it to you, but it, you don't actually see it in most minor projects. So let me see, yeah, BNB in a barrel. So we're just gonna have to use this. So there's actually a hidden parameter. There's your miners, which in this case is your chefs, and then there's your actual reward. But usually most miner sites only tell you your reward in the token. But there's actually an in-between token in between that communicates between the contract code. That's actually what's being calculated. So in this case, you don't actually see it here on uh, Lucky Cat Cake. Uh, you don't even really see it here. It's actually somewhat stuck in this BNB in the barrel thing. But um, basically what happens is this number, your dishes, the more times you sell, this actually stays on your account forever. So the so the contract code basically figures out, I think, I think, uh, how many times you've sold ever, and it's tied to your at wallet address. Additionally, what this does is it inflates the number of total dishes throughout the entire ecosystem, which obviously goes up a lot over time. So even if you do nothing, your rewards go down over time because this total dishes amount keeps going up because everyone else is buying and selling. So the total dishes just keeps go going higher and higher. 
So because you're not compounding, your share of rewards, which is your numerator here, PSN times BS, uh, your proportion of awards goes down. Because I, I kind of mentioned yesterday in yesterday's videos, right? I was just trying to figure out the technical mechanics behind it, the math. So that's what this is. So the reason why you have to compound is ultimately because this numerator has to overcome the denominator here, right? So at first I thought total dishes, because if you look at, because this function is called by this, oh God. Uh, calculate, that's the wrong one. Cal see, I thought total dishes was your total dishes, but this is actually total dishes of the entire ecosystem. Because it's the first thing, it's one of the first things that's declared as a variable up here, all right, near the top of the code. See, this is exactly a total dishes. <clears throat> and I saw that just by entirely by mistake, because I was just constantly trying to look at the code. This part here, though, dishes, that's you. That, this is actually you right here, your dishes. So, and then it took me a while to figure out what address this dot balance is, because I know it's trying to get the balance of something from your wallet address, but I didn't know what. So ultimately, I think it's Binance coin in this case. It's your native token. So you have to compound because then this number goes up over time. And look, this is the third, the third and final parameter or argument in calling the function calculate trade. Guess what guess what that means? That's this. If I can find the stupid thing again. Calculate trade. Where are you? Where is calculate trade? God, I keep Yeah. This is cal this is actually what it says. This is actually also this is your dishes amount here then feed the total amount of dishes in the entire ecosystem and then this is your numerator the amount of tokens you've ever invested in your mind in this miner project so that's why you have to compound right because ultimately this middle uh parameter or argument is in here rs so this denominator the first thing that the first so when your numerator gets uh, divided by the first denominator it gets a, it becomes a very large number that's why your awards are going down over time and then after all of this then you have to divide it again by the number of dishes you are selling right now which is here so it results in a very small number so you have to compound a lot to overcome this so so i've been looking at the behavior of like this shit project i won't name because i'm going to definitely lose all my money in that uh, maybe out of and then maybe I'll get back like I don't know 10 20 percent of my Binance coin out of like you know something larger than that uh, I've been looking at the, the buying and selling habits of this project and I've actually noticed two different types of uh, people that invested one person invested 2.38 Binance coin he only got back 30 he only got back 55 percent of his money, uh, Binance coin or third point. Yeah, he only got back 0.55. So he has a pretty large loss. On the other hand, I've seen someone else do something different. Um, oh, and I'll say that the guy waited nine days. He didn't do anything and he just pulled out whatever he could pull out, right? The 2.38 Binance coin guy. But another person, now he did something interesting. He invested pretty much a day earlier all right and then he waited 10 days but this is what he did he added a total of 0 0.6 binance coin over time and he also compounded like four or five times he didn't he never sold and then when he sold he got back 0 0.33 binance coin so that i thought was very interesting and again it's because of this all right so because the guy was compounding here and there his numerator was actually much larger than it was supposed to but because he was not ever selling this because he never sold right and both people never sold until you know later uh because of that then this number down here the first denominator which is r t right so yeah it's over here r t right 
It actually was not that bad. It was it's actually zero because you never sold. So this number, so this formula actually just winds up being this because obviously RT times which is zero times any number is zero. Um, yes, I believe that's so. One is calculate trade, calculate sell, because that's what what calculate. Oh, it's he called it calculate dishes sell. When is this function called? Return uh, calculate dishes. So this function is called quite a lot of times. Okay, the important thing is when you buy. How about we just highlight? Oh, what? Why did it disappear? I hit the all. Oh my god, this thing is fucking broken. Okay. Calculate sell is only called when you actually hit the sell button over here, or harvest, or devour, or, you know, pet your cat, or whatever, right? Oh, so... So that means the... So this formula actually says the answer is zero. Yeah. Because this thing ultimately returns zero. That's why you're able to keep your entire uh, reward. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, fuck. I have... There's so much more time. I need more time to research this. Fuck. Because every time I keep looking at it and I talk about it, like, I just learn more and more about this shit. So, okay. Because there is a reason why a lot of people either wait 25 hours because they don't understand... Because of the block timestamp function here, which, from what I can tell, actually doesn't seem to do anything still. Even though it's in the code. Uh, other people actually wait a long time. And they don't do anything. They might compound, but they don't actually hit the sell button. Because they you know about calculate trade. right? Because that's actually with your penalty. Calculate trade. Return. So when you sell your dishes... Uh... Create shafts. Here's your thing, here's your treasury, total dishes own. So this is where you know increases the amount of dishes in the entire ecosystem payable. Ah oh, jeez. Calculate dishes sell. When oh, yeah, because it doesn't uh, I don't like that it just disappears. Yeah, I was trying to like where is it? Okay. So you can calculate your sell. And then it feeds in owned dishes. Get dishes for the address. Yeah. I have any, I need more time because owned dishes. Yeah. We're, this is really gonna go on a long time, but I'm still trying to figure out because I'm trying to see if I can get away with compounding in the morning and then selling at night because I might not be able to do it. On the other hand, from what I can tell from the code. It doesn't actually matter when you sell. It's just because because the denominator will get bigger and bigger over time anyway, even if you do literally nothing. And in fact, that shitty project I just told you about with the two different people, right, demonstrates that to me. Because one guy put in a lot more money, but he got less back as a percentage versus the other guy who put in way less Binance coin, but got back more. Right, because he was compounding a little bit here and there, right? And then, of course, and then the control is they both never sold until the exact same time. So I had so I had very good data to work with, All right? And then I'm also actually increasing my amount of money in BNB Miner Finance because they actually have the same exact code as all these other projects. So they actually have the same penalty system of calculate trade. But what I've noticed about this project is I kind of seem to just be say, making the same amount of money basically no matter what. So now I'm actually kind of curious, can I keep compounding and then pull out and then compound and pull out, right? It's so weird. Like I'm getting so many different like weird things happening. It's like, what the hell? Ugh. But I'm basically trying to avoid the six days compound and one day take profit because I think that's just way too much. Because what's to prevent someone from just compiling this whole time 
and then you don't sell and then like because you've been compounding for like five six days or even three days because i'm being a little impatient so i mean i want to wait two or three days why don't i just sit on all my rewards and then pull it all out right and just yoink it because i've seen contracts balances everywhere draining like crazy so anyway i want to get back to uh, ultimately reading the code and figuring this out more i will figure this out or maybe i won't so anyway, I know this was supposed to be about Lucky Cat, you know, cake on the farming, but I mean, there's really not much more to say. It's just a minor project. So you just put in money and then, because uh, because of Ken, the hard part is figuring out, you know, how do you maximize your rewards? But this is actually true. If you actually pet too much or just take profit anywhere, you will actually get very little rewards. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what the actual math behind that is. So you do need to compound, you do need to avoid selling and dumping so much. And if you do nothing, you actually earn less money over time. But it's, again, because everyone's already buying and selling and compounding and whatever. So your share of the rewards is still being diluted, right? So even if you owned like 90, 100, even if you owned 100% of everything, which is obviously impossible, over time, it's going to reach zero, right? Because more people are coming in and out. So it's diluting you, all right? And, you know, yeah. So anyway, check out uh, Lucky Cat Pancake. I keep calling it Pancake Swap. Hmm. Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, I'm only uh, checking it out because it started out at like 16 or 1800 cake. TVL and now there's like almost double the amount so you know I wouldn't mind getting some more pancake plus uh yeah my, the amount of tabs in my window is just like crazy right now so but I know at least the shit project I'm not telling you about is gonna die uh it should I mean I think it's only gonna be up for I think the contract's gonna run out of money in like a few days and then BNB cherries is re like my reward on that is going down a lot but the contract and contract value is also going down but it's not going down nearly as much, so I don't know what the hell is going on with that. But, you know, they have a tweeter or whatever or anything, so it's pretty obvious that it's a, just another cash grab scam. You know, which is to be expected in these minor projects. Some will succeed and others will fail. Um, and then baked beans, unfortunately, is already draining like crazy, too. So I'm really trying to figure out how people are draining it so fast. So, yeah. So, anyway, check out Lucky Cat uh, Cake. Right, it's on Binance Smart Chain, of course. And I'll see you in the next video, which is a crazy Titano fork called Maximum, and they're paying 1 million percent APY plus, which is just like, I'm definitely not touching the project, but I mean, right now, only Murdoch's, you know, YouTube is active with content, so uh, we'll talk about it then. All right, like, subscribe, share this video around. Um, definitely, uh, you know, help the channel grow because now I have all these assholes from the southwest uh, from not China but like certain countries from southwest of China itself you know trying to fuck up the channel so you know I could use your help right you know like the video spread it around you know blah blah, blah. so I'll see you in the next uh, video thanks for watching